On the 10th of May 2020, Chinese and Indian troops clashed at Nathula, Sikkim, leaving 11 soldiers injured. The tension soon spilled over to Ladakh and both nations gathered troops to defend borders. On the night of 15th June, unrest was reported from Galwan, resulting in 20 casualties on our side and 43 on China's. India's foreign minister claimed these attacks were premeditated by China and Prime Minister Modi announced that the sacrifice made by our soldiers will not go in vain. Calls echoed across India to boycott Chinese products. India and China are both major regional powers in Asia. Our cultural and economic relations date back to ancient times with the Silk Route facilitating trade and the spread of Buddhism. However, relations in contemporary times have been marked by border disputes, resulting in many military conflicts. Our area. This is not your bloody area. This is not your area. Uh, no, no, no. This is our area. area. This is our area. Sir, sir. Commander, the line is very clear. It's, yeah, not it's clear. It's clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You are crossing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, this is Indian territory. You are in Indian territory. Yeah. Here's taking a look at the troubled Indo Sino relationship that has plagued us since independence. The beginning of these border disputes go back to 1947, when the British left behind the controversial McMahon Line. And China refused to accept its legality. In 1954, India discovered that China had built a road through the region. China claimed 1 lakh 4,000 square kilometers that was part of India's sovereign map, demanding rectification of the border. This led to the 1962 war, which resulted in India's defeat as the People's Republic of China pushed the Indian forces to within 48 kilometers of the Assam plains. China also occupied strategic points in the Aksai Chin and Dimchok region of Ladakh before declaring a unilateral ceasefire. Relations deteriorated further in the 1970s as the China-Pakistan ally grew, with both nations building bilateral infrastructure through territory claimed by India. China further supplied ideological and financial assistance to dissident groups and tribes in northeast India. In 1967, more unrest grew in Sikkim. Chinese troops opened fire on a detachment of Indian soldiers, and the issue escalated to an exchange of heavy artillery and mortar fire. Indian and Chinese soldiers argued over the control of a boulder at Chola outpost in Sikkim, triggering a fight that escalated to a mortar and heavy machine gun duel. In 1984, the Chinese deployed their troops to the Sumdorongchu Valley in Arunachal Pradesh in an impromptu attack and built a military post and a helipad at Wangdong. An Indian brigade was airlifted to the region to stop further advancement into the territory. India's grant of statehood to Arunachal Pradesh, the former Northeast Frontier Agency, caused both sides to deploy troops to the area. However, peace eventually prevailed. In early 2017, the two countries clashed again. This time at the Doklam Plateau along the disputed Sino-Bhutanese border. As India and China reach a five-point consensus to ease the tension that resulted in hundreds of popular Chinese are banned across India, the common man wonders how long before the troubles start again. Subscribe to Eastern and press the bell icon to get notifications for all our new stories.